The video you're about to watch is hands down our best UFO sighting ever captured. Now many people don't know, but Bakersfield is actually a UFO hotspot and on the edge of the military's R2508 complex. Now Tracy and I were watching the sky and noticed the light that came out about 10 minutes before the first star was supposed to appear in the sky. Look at this. Look at how slow it's moving. Yeah, I've got it. See? Pay attention to the right hand side of the orb you're gonna notice a faint blink. Now it may seem irrelevant now, but you'll understand in the end why we're showing these to you. That is a still camera and it's a movie. Look at this. Look, look, look. What the f is that? Now train your eyes on the front of the object and you're gonna see a faint white blink. Got the camera still now. We should take some picture. And now you're going to see a third and final blink. Now remember, this is no airplane. I've got the camera completely still. Should come into frame here. There it is. Look at how slow it's moving. Now after reviewing this part of the footage, we can see some type of fire or debris that comes off of the orb. Tracy and I spend a lot of our time UFO hunting in the San Joaquin Valley and Sierra Nevada mountains. For some reason, there's just something about it. It's a UFO hotspot. And that's where this is. It's flying over the San Joaquin Valley. Now we noticed the object because it appeared about 10 minutes before the first star was supposed to appear in the sky. So if you watch the sky every night and kind of get the layout for how things appear, you're gonna notice when something's out of place. From our position, we're looking northwest, almost towards Alaska. So the first star in the sky appears behind us, southwest. Now this occurred during the major rainstorms that happened in California at the beginning of 2017. Did this have something to do with the rainstorms? Now we know this video is long, but we decided to show you it in its entirety so you get a better perspective when the object multiplies at the end of the video.
Yeah, look at how slow it's moving. Just barely. It's the camera on the tripod, totally still. It's way too early. We noticed this thing out because this is not even the first star that would come out in the, in the sky. And if and in fact the first star just showed up. And this thing was already out. That's how we noticed it was something different. And once we got the camera zoomed in it in on it, you could totally see that it's moving and it's just slowly moving across the sky. Well, just went behind a cloud. Gonna wait for it to come out here. See, so we got a second star over here. Oh. Oh, it's going off fast now. Oh, look at it, it's taking off. Barely see it. I can barely see it. Look how fast it's going now. Oh man. I can't see it in the light. Oh look, 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 look. There's three of them now. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the f Babe, it's split on the video. Oh, oh my God. Dude, what the f Well, there's two of them here now. Is it up in the clouds? I can't follow both anymore. Holy sh I can't follow the one that went down. I'm just gonna stay with the two. God, they're still moving. Oh, they're farther apart now. God, I still got two of them. They're far apart, though. I don't know where the other one went. <coughs> There's the tripod, totally still. 
can't even see him no more, huh? I can. So I said I'm just trying to take pictures the same way your lens is sitting. Lost one of them. Now we're going to review the footage. This is the first time the object splits and we're looking at it in real time. Now we're going to slow the footage down. Tracy and I noticed this object because it came out way too early. If you're watching the sky every night, it gives you a great advantage because you notice something that's out of place and that's what happened here. Now most people would train their camera on it and probably would have thought it was a star. But because we do it so much and we're sky watching all the time, we knew something was weird. It was moving just a little too fast, just a little faster than a star would move. Now here's the same clip, still in slow motion, but it's blown up two and a half times the size. Now we've been watching the object close to 10 minutes. We definitely noticed that it was moving faster than a star would move through the sky. And we were completely surprised to see the object split. We knew it was something weird because of the speed, its location, and the time that it appeared. But we had no idea this is what was going to happen. Now we're looking at the object immediately after it had split for the first time. As you can see, it gains propulsion and dramatically speeds up. And then if we review the footage, slow it down, and blow it up, we can see some type of cone that's left behind the object. And then magically, there's the second object. What are we looking at? Is this an alien UFO replicating? Now we're going to look at real-time footage of the second and final split. This is when the object turns into three. So now we have a total of four objects in the skies above. Is this some kind of mothership releasing smaller crafts into the air? I mean, if this is some type of rocket, it seems pretty risky to be detaching pieces of a rocket body uh, over the middle of California. This is a legitimate UFO. Thanks for watching our video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all our latest videos and UFO sightings. And like always, if you've seen a UFO and you live in the southwestern United States, you can always give us a call or visit our website and report it to us. It's our mission to document UFO evidence, and your reports help us accomplish this goal. Thanks again for watching.